Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of Are course, you joined by... Yeah, he's moving. Lizzie Gordon. <laughs> and... Me. Are we Shane Dawson. Dying? And, of course, Christopher Brettinger <laughs> is here. Brettinger. We say Brettinger. Uh, we'll be right back here in just about 25 minutes to hang out with Shane, get his favorite fast food item. <laughs> it goes really well. I love that you're wearing your McDonald's shirt again so soon. Yeah, and you want to know what? What? I just had a full blown mental breakdown about it. Why? It really? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I take it back. It doesn't matter. We can rewear clothes. <sighs> we can rewear clothes. <laughs> I am never in my life ever recording outside of our schedule again. It's hard. I love my husband. And you know what? I wanted to like record a little later because we're having Shane on the show. I have to admit, this was a little hard. Both of us don't function. Pat, like, 3 p.m. is when I retire for the day. I retire at 4, so 3 is when I start getting a little lame. And also, traffic's very different at this time of day. And I need you to know what I just did to get here. Because <laughs> it is not normal for me what I did. What? Oh, I panicked because the second I got on the 101, it was just dead ass stopped. And I'm like... <gasps> I'm gonna be late as fuck if I stay here. So I was like, fuck it. Before I even get into the groove, I just exit immediately. And I think because I panic exited, I added like 20 minutes to my travel time. But then I'm like zooming in and out of traffic like a maniac, like getting here means anything. You know what I mean? Like we're about to do open heart surgery is what I'm late for. <laughs> and I'm just cruising down Ventura at 55 miles an hour. <laughs> This can never be done again. No, we can't do this. I we can't literally... work like this. So I was like, oh, I have the morning free. We're redoing the living room at this house just because like the furniture in there felt heavy. The couch was a dog bed. So we're just like, we need to renew and revitalize yeah. this space. So I had somebody here helping me this morning, like rearrange everything. So I've been holding a fucking chandelier above my head for the last hour because of serious? course it's like not even and then it's not and he's doing the electric work above my head. So somebody needs to hold the fucking chandelier chandelier it's 50 pounds and i'm just like i'm fine i'm fine and then i look down at the clock and lizzie's like i'm on my way and i'm like i haven't prepared for this podcast for one second today it's okay <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> and so then I go upstairs, and of course I have no other clothes. And Shane's like, "Well, you're doing fast food. Just wear the McDonald's." I'm like, "I just wear the McDonald's." <laughs> He's like, "It doesn't matter." And I was like, "It does. I've been wearing new clothes on the podcast, and it matters." It's okay. And so then I was like a maniac, taking out all my just like rage from nothing working in my other project today, out on what I was wearing for the podcast, which is also so inconsequential to my life. I'm so sorry. I have a lot of anxiety right now too do we just let go? what do we do just like take a deep breath i think together? we just have to let it go i don't know how to let go of my anxiety i got a lot going on i am so grateful <laughs> that at this point in my day i get to sit down with you silly geese and just and just chill. forget about our problem forget about it and here i was thinking like oh we're doing something different we're trying a new format for the podcast because last week seemed to go pretty well i thought it was fun besides my like mild mental breakdown when i called you freaking out like we have to delete the episode people think that i'm being rude <laughs> But it's Crazy. like they had the people that were being rude hadn't watched the episode. They hadn't no, seen our they intentions. They're just like they mad know. to it's be just mad. Liz being Liz. It's just Liz being Liz. Little but Liz I did Liz. think like a fun format after our I thought the setup was successful. Concur. Like doing a quick twenty minute catch up on our life and then like going to pick up a guest in the car and like have them take us to their favorite fast food place or mm -hmm. do something like interesting and exciting in the car that isn't every other podcast where you just like sit down and deep dive with celebrities yeah plus i think it's like easier to get guests if we're like all you have to do we'll is just come to your house step out your front door <laughs> yeah and go through a drive through with us for 30 minutes yeah yeah seems a lot more doable i i love that the guest is your husband though. well we gotta start like <laughs> with what we have access to it's a pretty good get. It's a pretty good get. It's the Shane Dawson of Shane Dawson's podcast. So that's, and I was thinking about it like, is Chris going to be in the car too? Yeah, of course. Am I just the other ginger? Well, and the other or do you guys is... just have a trade out ginger? <laughs> What do you mean? Well, I'm not kicking you out. There's going to be two gingers. I'm almost going to be like no, dominated by Shane, gingers. On Shane's podcast, it's you three and a ginger. Oh, right. And then it's going to be you three and a different ginger. But I do think we have similarities. <laughs> Shane's like a hybrid though. Shane's a hybrid, but Shane's a party to both. <laughs> okay, so he's not, you don't claim him as your own. 
I no, I definitely claim Shane is my own. <laughs> <laughs> but like he has his brother, and I'm like your brother. You see what I mean? <laughs> just like my brother. I'm just like your brother. I'm just like your brother. I'm responsible like your brother. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I need to talk about? What? The fact that we're like well into the second quarter. Oh my god. And gosh. that I didn't know I when thought- the quarter ended <laughs> for the month or the year or whatever. And someone just told me and it's like do you know that I feel like I've been robbed of time? Do you know that I, I literally have goals per quarter based off of a four-month schedule? Do you know that that doesn't make sense? Yes. And no one told me? Three, six, nine, twelve. Why didn't you tell me? I just thought you had a fun segment idea last week. And Why you're like, the fuck I would recap. I have a fun segment idea in the middle of a quarter? I don't know. See, this isn't fair. And everyone shits on me when I correct him, but it's because I don't want him going through life not knowing. And no one cares about me knowing. Uh, the comment section did. Thank God I for you guys. Didn't. They're raising me. I... They're doing the work my parents couldn't. <laughs> and God bless them for it. Because it is a thankless job raising me in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> I was devastated. I'm terrified because I woke up to a news story that there was a black bear found in the Santa Monica Mountains, which is right in the middle of where I live. A black bear. Are you not afraid of bears? You're afraid of rattlesnakes, but you're not afraid of bears? I mean, I'm not as afraid of a bear. What? I feel like there's a bear. Are you kidding me? Listen, there's a bear and there's a million motherfucking rattlesnakes the rattlesnakes stick to themselves unless you do something to piss them off or step on them what's the deal with the bear sighting okay well i don't really know yeah so <laughs> maybe you need to just chill the fuck out no 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 no, no. i did i took a picture of a bear that you saw in your neighborhood well i didn't encounter the bear but is now it i'm really worried a bear that or I made... is it one of chris's boyfriends uh, <laughs> i just want to know well maybe i was on the search oh my gosh how long ago was this that i fucking found a bear at this oh my gosh so you've been you've been anxious about this for quite some time, it seems. Yeah, are you kidding me? My biggest fear has always been running into a mountain lion on my dog walk, and now I have to add a bear to the list. I mean, you should add rattlesnakes to it for sure, because you've definitely already run into rattlesnakes. For some reason, rattlesnakes is not on the... Are you kidding me? I just took this screenshot, and now I can't find it. Of course, this is how my day goes. On this day of all days. On this day of all days, when I'm such a blessed person, but I can't seem to find anything to be I'm grateful so for. I'm so blessed, I can't find what I'm stressed over. <laughs> if I was doing this, do you know how nasty Rylan would be right so now? So nasty. Put the phone down. You're so... never going to find it. No one cares. Oh, I just want to give up today. <laughs> I really do. And we're back. <laughs> Just another meltdown later. Okay, this is... <laughs> I think he was just thinking this picture of this black bear was one of his llamas. Okay, so this is the huge bear. But what I found interesting, they were saying, experts say that black bears rarely become aggressive and attacks on people are uncommon. But if they do, if you do encounter one, here's some tips. Keep a safe distance and slowly back away. If the animal approaches, make yourself look bigger by lifting and waving your arms and making noises by yelling and clapping your hands and using noisemakers or whistling. Like I have noisemakers on You should my start carrying noisemakers with you on your walk. Do not run and do not make eye contact. Let the bear leave the area on its own. And this is where i really started to spiral because you want to make eye contact if a bear makes contact fight back yeah what the fuck (gasps) do you think i'm gonna go up against this adorable black bear that's going to ruin my life loki so cute i just can't believe for that story i had to spiral so hard to find it well that's why i was asking if it was right sized it was not right sized. no but look at us you know we're learning you look cute today thank you it's like a very nice linen i feel like you're a rich mom Stop. It's like Well, it's so funny that you should say that. What? Because I had a little menti bee this weekend. <laughs> About what? Not being rich. <laughs> but I feel like it's and it's an I feel like it's an important conversation. Uh, no, I agree. Have I talked to you? I've have talked to you about this, but have I talked about this on the podcast? What? I don't know where you're going. Oh, right. Okay. So the Stein the Steinbeck, the writer, John Sp- Steinbeck of Mice and Men, author and the Grapes of Wrath author, probably an author of other things that I'm unaware of because I'm an illiterate boob. <laughs> At some point in his life, John Steinbeck <laughs> has written these words down. The capitalism has forced all of us Americans, I guess for lack of a more specific nationality, to act as though we are all embarrassed millionaires. And the fact of the matter is, I act like an embarrassed millionaire what do you mean (laughs) like i act like a millionaire who's just like down and out right now but the truth of the matter is i've never been a millionaire (laughs) i 
I'm trying to so embarrassed millionaire. Like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I wasn't a millionaire this year, but I will be a millionaire next year. Oh, I think that's accurate. Because one of yeah. these years you will be. Well, that's a really nice thing to think. <laughs> <laughs> but I also think that that's like to some degree capitalism telling me that I should be embarrassed that I'm not yet a millionaire and that it's like all these things like I need all these things like I want to look rich I want to put off the air of being rich it's like which is why do I want yeah that's then when somebody like the richest of the rich like dress poor do you know what I'm saying Okay, here's the quote. Chris found it. John Steinbeck once said that socialism never took root in America because the poor see themselves not as an exploited proletariat, but as temporarily embarrassed millionaires. And I'm not coming on here to vouch for socialism. So now that I know that full <laughs> quote, I'd like to like, I'm going to walk it back a little bit. But I do think that capitalism in and of itself has created this monster inside. And I can only speak from personal experience. This conversation is starting to go above my head. Just so you know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just here coming to you straight from the lower middle class to let you know that it's fucking okay to be lower middle class. And you don't need to spend your entire Saturday crying in bed because you're not a millionaire because that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's crazy. You have all the Harry Potter Legos you want, girl. It's going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But I did, like, I had that revelation. It's like, why Why feel that way? Like, why do I get this pain in my stomach of like, I'm not, I'm not a millionaire. Like, of all the things. <laughs> and Literally scream like, crying. A million dollars? Oh, what, no, a millions. Okay, okay. What am I going to well, do with a million dollars? I spend it very here? few people have millions of dollars. And that's the other thing. Very few people have millions of dollars. And yet, here I was on Saturday, crying in my bathroom. <laughs> and it was, I was like, I... I just have to come to terms with the fact that I'm poor. <laughs> and then you look at Kim Kardashian's birthday party for her son, son which and you're wilder. like, that probably costs more than I have in my bank account. Yeah. It's wild. And see, and I think that that's, I don't need to compare myself to that bitch. I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I even, honestly, honestly, <laughs> I had a meltdown about my birthday party. Why? I felt like shit about it. I was like, I texted one guy, I was like, just so you know, this isn't going to be classy. You know what I mean? Like, already making an excuse it is already boiling hot in here by the way i know <laughs> i was like already make like what the fuck do i like there's nothing else that i'm like ashamed of obviously you've seen me interact in the public <laughs> and then i have the, like i was i've just been having these little menti bees lately and it's just like for what girl like my bills are paid yeah like to be one of a thousand pound sisters wait what it's a quote People know. Okay. <laughs> People know. Well, I'm proud of you. And Thank I know you. I you're... just wanted to relate, like, to the, like, if you guys are feeling some type of way about, like, you know, peacocking as if you're embarrassed or ashamed of where you are in this life, like, just keep your head down. Keep doing the work. The goal is not riches and wealth. The goal is to be a good fucking person. And it's absurd. And to be happy. And, and money happy. doesn't actually equate to happiness. It doesn't equate to happiness. I mean, to some degree in this world, it equates to security. It, but comfortability, also, yeah. which allows for you to do things that can enhance your happiness 1000%. But there's also like, we glamorize not working. You know what I mean? We're like, how do I get a million dollars and not work for it? Nobody wants to work anymore. Exactly. Like you and I drive around LA all day and we're like, look at these rich people I, with no jobs. <laughs> like it is so confusing and it's, and it's a goal. <laughs> what the fuck is that goal? You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like we've lost sight of what humanity should be, which is, you know, a worker am among workers and help, help be nice to people. But also think, I mean, Stumbling across FU money is also such a curse because I do think a lot of your purpose is tied into what you do for a living. Yeah. And that like if you had all the money in the world, you wouldn't have anything to wake up to do or you'd have to find something else that fulfills you right. in a way that work would because a lot of us do get some sort of fulfillment out of our jobs. I think a lot of us do get some sort of fulfillment and then others honestly don't. A job's a job. They pay you to do it. Yeah. That's the fulfillment. I get my paycheck so that I can be this other thing and i think that that's pretty cool too like you and i are blessed that we love what we're doing and what we're pursuing mm -hmm. and it does fulfill us and it does give us this drive but there are others that i'm like i just want a job a job is a job and i'll take a job and i'm gonna have a life outside of it yeah and so I, you maximize, know maximize maximize your life outside of work yeah and i think just maximize your life period and that doesn't mean money can i share a related quote yeah yeah I just saw this today, and it feels very uh, appropriate. It says it was from Heath Ledger, 
It says, everyone you meet always asks if you have a career, are married, or own a house as if life was some kind of grocery list, but no one ever asks you if you're happy. Beautiful. That, see, that's what I was trying to say. Heath? <laughs> yellow, yellow button for Heath. <laughs> Great addition, Chris. Thanks. I've never been happier to unmute you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I mean, I'm not kidding. That was, that was great. I cut off your icky and bub story. Um, after that, sad stuff. Or I guess that was happy stuff. Yeah. Back to the icky and bub story. My sons are kings. <laughs> Tiny kings amongst men. So I take them to socialize them at restaurants because that's a good place to do it. and uh, Ruin the- everybody else's experience. No, they love seeing them. People's faces light up with joy when they see my dogs. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. This isn't me being Lizzie. I'm on like on God hand to the, on the Bible. I'm on the fucking witness stand. As God okay. is my witness, my dogs make people happy. I'd have to see it to believe it. But so we go to Hank's Bagels in on Ventura, and Icky like has to wait outside because he's a little too juiced. So Joe takes it, holds Icky outside and like has him sit because we're teaching him to find us more intriguing than the environment mm-hmm. so joe's outside like sit giving him a treat sit giving him a treat i bring bubs in the line to order the bagels and like honestly bubs is so good outside of our house because he's not stressed about protecting and he fucking loves the bagel place because it has a really cold slick cement floor and he likes to like when bubs is lit you've seen him, he likes to slither pup mm-hmm. so he slither he's slither pupping on the floor people come in he's wagging he thinks they're here to see him and i'm like please don't pet him he will bite <laughs> and if he bites i'm gonna run because i'm not gonna let you terminate my dog because i told you he bites and you didn't listen because he's little and you got down in his face sounds like a great dog to bring to a restaurant anyway everyone's lit on him the woman behind the counter is like oh my god your dog is so silly like is it a boy or a girl and i was like he's a boy and she's like i just love me so silly and like all the people working there are like looking at him and he's like look at this little funny guy and we like get the bagels and we go out and we're walking away and as i'm walking away i hear a woman go that dog looks just like mr bubs and I stopped and I was like, it is Mr. Bubs. And she went, oh, my God. And like literally flipped the fuck out. And I have never been so lit for Bobo in my entire life. She like got down to pet him. I was like, whoa, whoa, don't get in his face, bro. He is nibbly. And she's like, oh, my God, you're right. You're so right. I shouldn't have done that. You're so right. Right. And I was like, do you want to hold his leash and like take a picture? And she was like, yes, I do. And then she was like afraid to hold the leash. And like no Bubs wouldn't way. look at her. It was just looking at me. And Joe was like, just fucking pick him up and take a picture. And it's like, I look like shit, Joe. But OK, so I'm like, I pick him up. We take a picture. And she goes, I just love him so much. Like when I'm having a bad day, I have this video saved no. to look at it. And I was like, thank you so much. Becky, I know you don't watch the podcast because you don't know who I am, which is fine. You didn't promote it. You weren't like, hey. It was about my boy. Okay. It was about my boy. It would have been I'm really weird like- if I was like, just so you know, like I'm also like I have 37,000 followers. So if you wanted to know about me, you could. You could know all about me. <laughs> no, it was not my time. It was Bubby's time. And then as we like drove away, we could see her like looking through her pictures on her phone. And it was just like a big moment for Bobo. Wow. Yeah. I don't know if he's ever personally been recognized out in the streets. Really? Yeah. I got recognized for Bubs a couple times, and James gets recognized for Bubs all the time. But I don't think it's ever happened to Bobo. Wow. Yeah, it was exciting. Good for him. Thank you. I'm sure if I went out in the world with him, people would recognize him more because he would growl at me so much that everyone would be like, that's the growling dog from the internet. <laughs> is, this the next, is this my next vlog? <laughs> Going out with two celebrities, seeing who gets recognized more. <laughs> And then in class, I was a single mother. Joe couldn't come with me to dog training because he spent all of Saturday dealing with my poverty meltdown. Uh, so he didn't- Sorry, that was such a brutal laugh. <laughs> but it's like, you really had to deliver it like that of all things. No, it was wild. I was like scream crying, bro. I haven't heard from you much this week. Oh, I was scream crying. I, uh, I'm also really busy right now. Okay. That's a big part of my anxiety. Yeah, she won't go to Disneyland with me for my birthday. <gasps> oh man, you saying it again like hurts even more. <laughs> It hurts, bro. I Whatever. know. I'm so sorry. You, Chris, and I will go on our own. Will we? <gasps> yeah. Okay. Great. Maybe. I Depends so on how bad. this goes. I feel so bad. Depends on how this goes, you <laughs> did, know? It, did you already buy the tickets? Uh, Not yet. I'm telling you. Hit well, me we're up. going on my brother's actual birthday. Hit me up before you full send it. You know for a fact I'm probably going to cave. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I feel like just even saying well, that. We've I have already, so much work to do. We've already hit our 20 minutes, so you got to wrap up Oh, here. Icky was the star of puppy training, and then he fell down the stairs. <laughs> and on the way out, I fucking forgot my cell phone at my seat, and Icky fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> got tangled in his harness a little bit, and I was like, he's fine! He's fine! Everyone was like, oh, God! And I was like, we gotta go, we're poor! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then also, dude, the woman, like, I left my phone and she, like, ran and she's like, Lizzie, your phone. And I was like, I hope she doesn't see my Prius. <laughs> oh my God, she's going to know I drive a fucking 2010 Prius and she's going to know I'm a bad mom because I'm not rich. <laughs> My dogs don't know we're poor. They think we're rich as fuck. It is so hot in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Kim Zolciak filed for divorce from Croy. Who is I, that? Wow. Who are any of those people? <laughs> Shane just texted my like, wow. What? <laughs> Sorry, I'm processing. This is big for me. Like in a sad way, in a devastating way. Their love was like lightning in a bottle. They were. So Kim Zolciak was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Oh, and- Kim. The white woman with the weave. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so <laughs> people loved her and her relationship on the show so much. They got like a wedding spinoff and then it turned into a full blown series of their own just because like their love is so cute and they have like so many kids together. So this is like devastating. Wow. I'm so sorry, Kim. And I thought you were going to apologize to was me, which name felt Cr- like it was needed. Was Is it Kim and Crank? Croy. 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 Kim and Croy. Wow, my heart is... I know Shane's not going to care about this, so I just have to talk about this Taylor Swift concert in the pouring rain. What a fucking nightmare. What a fucking nightmare. How about that she waited it out for hours and then came and did a whole set in the rain till 2 a.m.? I applaud her for that, and I looked at her Instagram before, like, a little rain won't stop us. Like, I'm ready to yeah. go. The problem is, like, had I been in that crowd, even if I had traveled, like, we traveled to Vegas... Yeah, I would have given up. I know. Like they waited for five <laughs> hours in the rain before the lightning stopped Pouring for her to be able rain. to perform. And then it was still raining while she was performing. So if, for those of you that don't know, who don't give a shit about Taylor Swift in Nashville, this is, Nashville's a big deal. It's where she got her start. It's where she's from. It's she did like three her, nights. This is on the third. She night. She did three nights on the third night, a torrential downpour with lightning, thunder and lightning, a shelter in place order. All the girls in the stadium had to hide in the hallways outside of their seats to like stay safe. And then eventually Taylor came out and performed. And do you know how many Because they get fined if they go over a certain time? So Taylor was probably fined hundreds of thousands of dollars for performing till 2 a.m. Wow. Yeah. So she did that for the Swifties. God bless her. Did you see the new love affair romance rumors? I I, I have no some idea guy I, some guy we don't know I think his name is Matt I think he's also a singer I think everyone just needs to relax oh do you not know there's he went to all three nights of the Nashville show after flying in from the fucking Philippines wouldn't you if you were friends with her I'd go to every I'd be a groupie on that tour if she would allow a male and female friendship is not like that maybe her and Ed Sheeran but he wasn't there and he's, and he's only in Europe right so here's the other thing this guy, Matt, which Matt not his name, had a show. And in the show, like in the middle of it, he like mouths to camera and he goes, that song was for you. You know who you are. I love you. He's English in my mind. I have no idea what this guy sounds like. <laughs> then Taylor at her show, she looks to camera after song. She goes, that song was for you. You know who you are. I love you. Tell me they're not fucking. He stayed at her house. <laughs> he stayed at her fucking Nashville house. Also, apparently, word on the street is she's been broken up from Joe buttfucker since like <laughs> december and wow. we just didn't know she probably just didn't want the news to like interrupt yeah and we have that her next album is going to be speak now her next taylor's version i'm yeah. so lit i fucking love speak now i intentionally did not buy speak now when i went back to refill my phone with all of taylor's albums i only bought the ones that she's put out since like her sale so i only have taylor's versions of things wow and i was really wanting to speak now but i was like i can't do it i can't validate this so i just bought a couple songs i was just watching all of the clips from her in the rain i loved watching the clips but had i been there like it's too much rain for too many hours oh my god i loved it it was so romantic i do feel bad for the girlies though because i saw some tiktoks where they're like taylor we're not having fun anymore (laughs) (laughs) taylor this is not it dude you need to help us (laughs) well taylor got to i mean god bless her for performing like this is nothing against taylor and it would have been more of a nightmare if people were already there to then try to reschedule it's like everyone's already traveled you can't do it but like she was under she was she was in shelter in her dressing room with all the food in the world while they're all just like like in hallways damn drenched honestly (laughs) my worst nightmare i just texted my dad this because i'm going to new york and i was like dad my worst fucking nightmare is being cold and damp (laughs) because i thought i was going to new york and like the heat like the new york heat like i love a swampy heat because i'm sick (laughs) and my dad was like no dude it's spring like it's gonna be raining and it's gonna be chilly and i was like well maybe i shouldn't come 
Now, ever since I've gone to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, I have been dying to get my butt back there before it ends. And I'm so grateful that today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app that's going to help me get right back to where I want to be, which is Taylor Swift. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Taylor Swift, Drake, Beyonce, and Blink-182 on tour, you are not going to want to miss out. What I love about SeatGeek is they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. Look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you already know SeatGeek came through for all of you guys. Use our code SIP for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code SIP. And make sure you click the link in the description section to download their fantastic app. Once again, that's code SIP for $20 off your tickets. Now I've been there spiraling about symptoms I have, feeling as though it's easier to stress about my symptoms than it is to actually find a good quality doctor and get real answers. And that's why I love that ZocDoc is a sponsor of our show. It's the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. With ZocDoc, there's no more doctor roulette or scouring the internet for questionable reviews using their free app that millions of users rely on, you can find and book the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. When I recently had allergies that were out of control, I found a doctor that was able to prescribe me the right medication to get to feeling my best so that I could properly work again. And ZocDoc is here for you too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash the sip and download the ZocDoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's zocdoc.com slash the sip. Zocdoc.com slash the sip. Okay, everybody. Um, just because he's my husband doesn't mean that we're not going to do it like we're going to do it when there's a guest, you know? <laughs> I need to show I need to show potential guests like what they're getting into. We're going to pick you up in your driveway okay. just like this. <laughs> we're going to be like, hey, it's just this girl. He's coming to pick you up. Oh, God, there he is. There he is. So this is a proof of concept? Is that Hell yeah. <laughs> Everybody welcome our first car guest. Oh Shane. wow. Hi. Thank you for picking me up. <laughs> Are you so sick of me today, Shane? Yeah, I was standing there for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I was trying to get their angle right back there. He was panicking. Shane. And then I was ob obviously breaking down about my hair, the state of my fucking hair. <laughs> Isn't it annoying when somebody complains about something that literally means nothing? Like, your hair means everything, but it looks the same no matter what you do. No, this whole episode is me complaining about things that don't actually matter. I <laughs> Every day he's like, did my hair seriously look like this through the whole episode? <laughs> Your like, hair looks like you get that your whole life. Every day. Okay. Your whole life. Everybody <laughs> needs to stop dragging me. I've been trying to grow my hair out and we're going through an awkward stage. So yes, I have five breakdowns a day about it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a breakdown right now because are we not allowed to have a AC because of the sound? What do you mean? The AC is pumping, baby. Is it? There is you it? go. Oh, thank you. Okay. Titties are sweating. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? My sure. titties are sweating too, Shane. You okay, can say whatever you want. Thank here. you. We got what, sweaty titties over here. What's the science of that? Does it show like? I mean, it's different than the th the chafing, but it's damp. He doesn't know what chafing is. Isn't she, that crazy? He literally gaslit my chafing. He was Ooh. like, "There's no way you're chafing." I was like, "No, like my thighs are bleeding, bro." He doesn't get it. No, he doesn't he, get it's it. It's so crazy, and not to like skinny shame, but yeah, he doesn't understand chafing. Like, okay, so we were sitting on the couch, right? And you know, being romantic, and I had my legs spread open, and but I had shorts on, and he goes, what is that smell? Did you poop? And I said, no, it's my rash, because I chafe. You chafe smells? <laughs> No, it was because there was, you didn't wipe well enough, and it no. was like seeping out. No, Lizzie? he was like his legs were wide open, and his ass was Riley, like, no. you, you accusing him of pooping? <laughs> Not pooping, just like some leftover from the last Anyways, wipe. people are eating. People are eating. We're about to be. These people behind me are pissed that I'm going slow. I'm pissed that you're going slow. Okay, mm -hmm. I have something else to complain about. Ooh, what? is this just a let's drag you? <laughs> well, should we wait until we're like pulling in somewhere so this isn't so bumpy? No. Oh no, did you bring the docket? The docket? Of course not. What's the docket? Okay. Our plan is it docket? Oh. Who cares? 
<laughs> you don't have a plan. Uh, no, what I was gonna say is you can't see now because there's nobody in front of us, and you guys don't can't see because we don't have a dash cam. But he tailgates like a motherfucker. Oh really? my god! Tailgates like gets right up to them, and then they do the thing where they start like putting their brakes on, so it's like fuck off. And he thinks that's like a no, come closer. No, no, no. I try to be sympath empathetic, sympathetic. I try to have compassion because this is a two-way street and it's windy, and it's like yes, I drive it every day, so I like to go five over the speed limit. But when this is somebody's first time on this road and they're going 10 under the speed limit, it is like, get it to fucking gather. Why are you yelling? Is it, you're like experiencing it from my point of view, like watching the show. Is it fun? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them fight a few times. <laughs> As if our whole show isn't you and I fighting, Lizzie. That's what Chris is saying. Oh. Wait, what happened the other day? Oh fuck, what was it? There was one episode that I watched where like, yeah, you guys were really fighting and I was like, oh, is there a problem? Wait, oh. were, were we really fighting? And then I asked Ryland about it, he's like, no, everything's fine. I was like, wow, you guys were like <laughs> yeah, really fighting. I don't fighting. think we really fight, but we like, I love that. we're like hangry bitches. One constant comment I get is that we're like too much for people to handle in the morning. <laughs> like it's too much energy. So watch us in the afternoon. <laughs> right. If you don't, if you find less. Wait, why are you pulling over? So I can let all these people pass. This feels so sexual. Is anyone for some passing? They're all passing. Oh, wow. They're like, well, because like I don't know the camera, and like you just picked me up, and now you're pulling over. It's just weird. Oh, it's weird. Are like, we gonna fuck? This him? is like my know. first time experiencing a guy. Wait, am I? A oh my god, is this the OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah, am I the straight guy who's like? Are Chris I don't and I know. About to be rich oh my god. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna fuck Lizzie. You guys told me I'm gonna fuck Lizzie, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. She's, she, I can fuck, fuck her titties. And then you put a blindfold on me, and then Chris, really Chris starts Chris. and Chris starts sucking my dick, and I'm just like, she's so good. And then Lizzie's like, uh -huh. <laughs> pretending. But really, everyone knows I would never suck dick. <laughs> really? Yeah. She Good has for you. To, she I'm has married. To you. Good for you. Thank you. What, you're saying married men don't like blowjobs? I'm saying they don't get them. No. Wow. Hear that, Shane? Oh, I don't think I can get married if that's the case. Is that wow. a thing? I mean... This is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I started it. I'm sorry. It's the legality of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, anyways. <laughs> anyways, where are we going? This is like your fast food choice. Ooh. Um, oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That's how this goes. Like, the guest gets to choose their... And I, let us ate. I just had a big old protein smoothie. Uh, well, I'm fucking starving, so pick a spot. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, what do you want? Like a hack or like something fun? Like a secret menu? Oh, yeah. If you have something special for us. Okay, I <laughs> do. <it's> rehearsed? <laughs> it really feels that way, especially since I have my uh, Taco Bell Baja Blast cup. But I do have a Taco Bell hack that I was going to do with you in a vlog, but we could not do that. We could do it here. Oh, if you could gift that to us, that would be nice. Oh my god, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the content. Are we going to get stuck in school traffic right now? Absolutely. Yes. Oh. Wow. Oh. Are we going to take our kids to this private school or no. are they going to public no. school? Public school. What? <laughs> Why? I don't want that. Okay, listen. No, nothing against private school. I did go to a private Catholic school for a few years when I was little, but nothing against it. It's fine. It's great. But, like, then you have to deal with private school parents. And, like, I ain't trying to do that. I'm not trying to do the whole, like, oh, so you guys drive a Tesla. Like, I can't. Like, anyways. So, where are we going? Oh, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, so I have a hack that I wanted to try. Basically, you know the Crunchwrap Supreme? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I heard... <gasps> oh. I know this hack. Is, is it what? Is Taco Supreme wrapped in the quesadilla? What? No, but oh. my butt just fell out. <laughs> no, you you ask for, you know the Dorito taco? Yeah. You ask them to split the taco shell in half and put it in the middle of the crunch wrap. So this is pornography. What? <laughs> Split it and stuff it, Daddy. Never. Yes. Never. Order it like that, Rylan. I know you get panicked because of what you're ordering. Ask him to split it and stuff it. I get panicked. He doesn't. He likes no, being like. He intense. gets panicked. No, this dude. is when you had me ordering TikTok Shane, Starbucks drinks. I handed drinks. him a literal script that said, Say this, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and he stood up there and he's like, I'm so sorry. Do you guys have coffee? Um, fuck. I suck. Do you want to tell them your version of my breakdown before the show? No. Oh. We already had a breakdown okay. with you on the show, I already show worked too. my way through it. You did? <laughs> we all worked our way through it, bro. Why do you want to go back to that? Well, wow. it's because I was alone all day. <sighs> While I was having my breakdown, Shane's just like he was sleeping in, getting he, his hair cut. He was, he was busy hanging the chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, big problems. No, no, you did a lot. You did a lot. That chandelier was crooked and you made it right. <laughs> Glad we got through it. Glad we got through it together. <laughs> Anyways, what else did you guys talk about? 
Well, we don't need to rehash everything we talked about. Is there anything on... You can open the document on well, your phone, Well, my favorite Elizabeth. thing is I said, should we talk about the coronation? And Ryland said... What's that? Cor like a baptism? No, like King Charles became the King of England. Uh, I don't know. And also, on this podcast, if you're an avid listener, you know that I predicted the death of Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> and I would like to be the first one to say, I think King Charles is going to die soon. <laughs> I don't think you Lizzie. should be protected. Pre I'm not the only one who thinks it. Right now, trending on Google is King Charles's swollen fingers, his like fat finger hands, oh and that's God. an indication of heart problems. I feel like that was trending for me in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have heart problems. No. I'm a hypochondriac. Oh, you no. should really go. Chris, are your fingers <laughs> swollen? I feel. Oh, no, no. Stop yeah. it. I'll believe you. I'll cry. <laughs> Chris just jumps out into oncoming school traffic. <laughs> Wait, did you get my text? You didn't reply. I was talking about it on the Wait. podcast. I was trying to bring them up to speed. I'm really actually quite heartbroken. Yeah. About Kim Zolciak. Yeah. <laughs> they were <laughs> like, that's like my version that's of like, you know, when an internet couple breaks up and everyone's like, that was my faith in humanity. I know. And then you know the behind the scenes and you're like, girl. <laughs> You're like, it took that long? Yes. You know the behind the scenes? <laughs> of, of what? Of their relationship? Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking oh. about YouTuber drama. Got it. Mm -hmm. Right. Where you're like, whew. He got a text about this while we were filming. And it was... Yes, it's devastating. <laughs> yeah. Don't be tired and full well, they do say, or Katie Morton told us, the biggest uh, stressors in marriages are Money finances, sex. kids, and they keep... what? I was going to say, it's also murder. The biggest reasons for murder are money... <laughs> Sex and revenge, right? Yeah. And the person they they always look to first is your spouse when you're murdered. Wow. What? Did I tell you I met Katie before? That's the therapist, right? Mm hmm I met her. Apparently I filmed a thing that she was in forever ago, like an interview. Huh. Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like, why do I feel like I know you? And I didn't. Neither of you remembered each other. Yeah. That's well, not good. <laughs> I have amnesia and dementia, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Well, should I and fat and, fingers. And cancer. And Strength swollen fingers. Problems. And you're dying. <laughs> Drop Chris off. Chris, get out of the car. In case um, any of this is contagious. No! Should I cut until we're pulling up to Taco Bell? Why? Oh, uh -huh. oh you're bored? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I have to hear this Katie story one more time. <laughs> well, I have a game. What's the game? Okay. I'm going to read a Bible scripture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I might need that today, quite Ooh, honestly. Okay, wait. Let me read one. Ready? Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. This is what Shane wait, does. Wait, hold on. Ready? What? Okay. Okay. And it always relates to what I'm going through in the moment. It's I think it's AI generated. It's very scary. Okay. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, give thanks. Mm. In nothing. So don't be anxious. And give thanks. You're anxious, and you need to give thanks. Yo, we just did this in the, in the fucking pod show. See, See it's always I mean? right. God knows. God, God is good. Knows. AI knows. He knows. Is it odd or is it God? <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That is on a sign at Home Goods. Is it odd or it's is it? It's just time God? to live, laugh, lesbian. You know what I'm okay. saying? We could do a couple questions. <laughs> I w yes. Okay. Right. I was gonna do like who knows me better, boyfriend versus best friend. I live in fucking fear of you doing some shit like that and it coming out that I'm such a fake fan. Okay, well, do, who knows my favorite movie? I don't. Uh, the intern. Ah! Chris right? wants to fuck oh you. Oh my god! Chris knows and Shane didn't. I was it. gonna say the devil wears Prada. They have his beautiful. Book. It had Sorry. to be an Anne Hathaway have, movie. I didn't was have I really right? a chance to answer. You didn't know. <laughs> I was downloading the couples game. <laughs> okay, but what were you gonna say my favorite movie was? Should I pivot and marry Chris? I'm not big enough You're for you. You're already married. Am I big enough for you? We'll figure it out. <laughs> no, you don't even chase your, you, loser. Your eyes are so beautiful, I don't even care. Wow. <laughs> Shane, are you gonna fucking stand for this? <laughs> well, normally it's Shane and Chris trying to fuck, so he deserves some of his own medicine. Yes, oh that's God. true. Is it weird that I feel no jealousy? <laughs> It, oh. No, it's a sign of a secure relationship. That makes me sad. You. I thought we had a special. <laughs> Wait, what? You are so fucking toxic. <laughs> Type in, like, best friend versus boyfriend I, questions. I, I, How old were you when you had your first kiss? 15. <laughs> That's my guess. I don't even know. Damn. Wait, who, you? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Let's talk about that. So my I'm first... adding the Crunchwrap Supreme with, instead of the normal taco shell, a Dorito taco shell. I love Taco Bell. So I stopped listening. <laughs> uh, he's ordering the Crunchwrap Supreme, but instead of a regular taco shell, he wants the Dorito split and stuffed yeah. up in it. Oof, Wait, yeah. no one else answered. First kiss. Was oh, it? okay. Mine actually, I just no, remembered. We're supposed to guess Rylan's oh. first oh, kiss age. That's the best saying. friend versus boyfriend <laughs> thing. But we can all go. I feel like you were one of those kids we that was like kissing when we were little. Like I feel like you were one of those kids. 
Like, yeah, I had my first kiss at like 11, but like, I don't remember that bitch's name. Like, it's like you. Yeah. So when was yours? Because I feel like it will be a little more embarrassing. I'm just saying. Whoa. When, what, what age did you lose your virginity? That is so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. You're a nasty man, right? It's so, you know what's so funny when people like say things like that? Like, I feel like I'm. Never mind. <laughs> I feel like you've told me that before. Like, well, no, you were I, was just, I was just gonna say, like, old, just like, because you started earlier doesn't mean you're better. No, not at all. That's what I'm saying. You're better probably than me, for Thank sure. Thank you. I'm just saying. Should we. Lizzie? But whose service is better? I'm gonna call it. Huh? Who? who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, could I possibly. Sorry, do you think it's embarrassing <laughs> that my husband lost his Not you. Can you guys shut up? <laughs> Can I get the Crunchwrap Supreme, please? But instead of the normal taco shell, is it possible to, like, split the Doritos taco shell in the middle? Crunchwrap Supreme, instead of the Tostada, you want a nacho cheese shell in it? Yes, Dorito a shell. Doritos taco shell in it. Okay. And then also order the nacho supreme, like whatever the biggest nachos and is, but get all this, get all the fillings on the side. Can I please get the nacho supreme to too, the large the one with the the all the toppings on the side? I hate nacho this. Borgandi, all the toppings on the side, okay? Yep. Chris, what do you want? I'm okay. No, <laughs> so what do you want? Stressed. Oh god. Just you tell me not, nacho bel grande, no tomato. Uh, another nacho bel grande, no tomato. And a number one with Thank a you Baja very blast. Much. And then a number one with a Baja blast. All right. And the last thing is just a Baja Blast Zero. First thing I saw. I'm stressed. Mom in large? Large. Okay. And that's everything. All right, come through in a bit. Thank you. <sighs> that was <laughs> stressful. <laughs> Woo-wee, you girls. Okay, so what year did you have your first kiss, and then when did you lose you your virginity? Guess. Oh, 18. On a set of something. Okay, you're. I don't know if you're right. Hold on, I need to do the math. <laughs> What year are we in? Okay, hold You on. can do the math, but you don't remember the year? 2009. Wait, 14. Can you please vote below in the comment section if I should just give up on having oh, okay. long hair? And just cut it, or should I keep growing? Okay, so the answer is I was 20. It was in 2009. And it was on film, and you can put it right here. It was in my Christmas movie thing. Wow. Yeah. 20? Your Christmas movie? When was your first... Was Christmas short film? When wow. was your first real kiss? Well, I ended up, we ended up dating, so it was that. Oh, okay. That was that good. <laughs> <laughs> and then when did you lose your virginity? Was it to that same person? Mm, yes, but ooh, but year, the three years later. It took you three years? Well, hold on. No, we didn't start, I started dating somebody else right afterward. And then we did other stuff, but we didn't actually do it. But, you know, we... That girl was with ate. you for three years and didn't have sex? No, I was only with her for a year. And then, it's a long story. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Anyways. How old were you, Elizabeth? I was, uh, 11. When you had sex? No, when I kissed. Oh. Uh, Chris? My first kiss? Yeah. My first real kiss was high school, I don't know, 15, 14, something like 15. Was probably. it a boy or a girl? Girl. I had a couple girlfriends. No big Same. Deal. Oh, shit. Here's a zero. Oh, thank you. When was his first kiss? Ask him. That's harassment. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, did we order two? Are there not enough couples? Uh, okay, on the Nacho Grande, you want everything separated? Uh, on one of them, everything on the side, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why is that a TikTok thing? Because you get hella stuff and your shit doesn't get soggy and you can make the perfect bite every time. Oh. Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of sounds like a nightmare, though. No, it's everything. Because you have to have all the containers with you, and then you're... <laughs> <laughs> She's a girl who loves I feel baggage. like you're going to spill all over the car. Absolutely. Mm. I also thought about free bleeding all over the white seat in the Tesla today. What's free bleed? That's like when you don't have a tampon in? Political statement. I'm sick and tired of the, <laughs> the tax on lady products. So I free bleed. So you can do it to your best friend yeah. who's a supporter fuck you of you? And fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> the only person that's ever supported me. Eat my bloody ass. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, and we're back on OnlyFans. <laughs> Chris and I are just excited to sell that. <laughs> Did you already ask what sauces we want? Because your girl wants some fire sauce. Fire. Fire, baby. So you're going to do this with like other people besides me? Well, yeah, I'll have more of a plan. Honestly, Shane, probably not. It'll probably be Morgan one time, and then it'll be you again, and then we'll have his mom back, and then maybe we'll throw Stacey and Austin in the car somewhere. I was gonna ask TBH. Spencer Pratt! Oh, right. Oh, yeah, when? 
Well, now that we have a format, I was going to see if this works. Honestly, but so far, it's seeming like it's Spencer not. Spencer Pratt's going to just get in your car, bro. Yeah. I feel like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I hope so. Spencer, are you out there? Fancy. I think you should pick up weird like a prostitute. <laughs> okay. If you're or a sex worker, sorry. Yeah, if you're out there watching, uh, email me at contactthesip at gmail.com. If you're in the LA area, we'll Ooh, come pick you that up. That is fun. What is if you pro- get Oh my project? gosh, we can come pick up anyone. If you have, like, if you were to have a great <laughs> specialty <laughs> career. Like, honestly, bro, like, I don't know about <laughs> anyone. <laughs> Chris and I will be there. Well, sayonara, sucker. It's the first two to be not killed by husbands in the history of all murder. Do we need ice cream cones? Or what were we getting at McDonald's? Big Mac sauce. Oh... I don't like this car. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you like about it? It's just so small. Thank you very much. Me too. Wow. Ooh wee, girlies. You girl is hangry. <laughs> so we're probably not putting the Big Mac sauce on the Taco Bell, right? No. I don't think so. I think that can be like an after thing. Big Mac sauce, that's what chafing smells like. <laughs> it's wow, that is heavy, bro. It's really, yeah, it's not. Oh, we're parking here. Ew. We have to. Where's the best light? I think yeah. you want to face that way, bro. Really? Mm-hmm. I was thinking it was looking pretty good here. Oh, I'll leave it. Mm-hmm. I have not had a Baja Blast in quite some time. Is it good? It's very sweet. I got two. I got one for you. Oh, I didn't want one. You didn't want a there's, Baja Blast Zero? There's a Zero option if you want. Do you want to trade me? The, oh, they gave you tomatoes on yours, Chris. That's okay. Do you want this one? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the Baja Blast. Isn't that exciting? I think the one thing that we needed for the hack isn't here. No. no. Let's go back. These are tacos. What? what? Nar. What? Are you serious? <laughs> You're kidding me. Nar. 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 Send Chris back in. You're kidding me. What is this? Uh, that's are my part beans, of- bro. Oh. Are you kidding me? The whole reason we're here didn't work. Now we just have to go back. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot a bag. We were screaming about our fucking virginity when he <laughs> said, hey, He's can like, I help you? like, get these fucking virgins out of here. <laughs> Thank you for the nachos. Oh, you're welcome, I appreciate Chris. it. I'm so car Sorry, I'm just going to grab my beef. <laughs> <laughs> this format's not working like I thought it would. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the first I thought we were really on to something. We don't know yet. Should I just go all the way up? Yeah. Oh, the nacho fries are back? Oh. 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 I'll go back. Do you want to ask him for nacho fries, too? Wait, did we get those? No. 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 But gaslight the shit out of him. No. Hey, we didn't get our nacho fries. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> That's not a recipe. Sorry, I didn't get the Crunchwrap Supreme with the... Dorito show, right? Yeah. I think the format of this show is good. I think the problem is your first guest is somebody who gets very easily carsick. Oh, well, I was going to plan a gimmick or like a game or have something like well thought out for us to do in the car, but then I was holding a chandelier over my head all morning. <laughs> that sounds... <laughs> that sounds like a metaphor. <laughs> the chandelier gets heavy. It really does. Should Imagine. I cut and then restart once we have things? Because we're almost to 30 minutes anyway. Wow. Okay. Two, one, two. Yeah. Second of course. Thing. I stop rolling for two seconds and they do the funniest... Mo- Sorry about that, guys. No worries. Thank you very much. <laughs> Up your order. Oh, thank you what very much. Oh my god, thank Woo! you! Thank yeah! you! We get a free giveaway! <laughs> Drop your info in the, in the comments below. We'll pick we you up. Social Wait. security number, your mom's maiden name, and your address. Oh my god, you're gonna crash. I feel like we just won the lottery. <laughs> get a free crunchy taco, soft taco, or Doritos Locos mm. taco. Woo! Wait, so what happened when I stopped rolling and I was all pissed off? I started, we, well, your hair. Well, I just your realized hair. it's a fucking nightmare for poor Shane to have to do an eating vlog in a car. Oh, yeah, and then Lizzie was like, Shane goes, no, it's not you guys. It's not you. It's hard to explain. And Lizzie goes, yeah, one time he was eating eggs next to me and I was going to blow my brains out. Oh, my God, that is not what I said. <laughs> That's basically what no, you said. No, first of all, you said, no, Lizzie said, no, I get it because when Rylan was eating an egg next to me, I wanted to kill him. You turned it into something very different. <sighs> he always does that, and then he no. gaslights everyone. And then I flipped my hair the other this way. This is good. This and is it's... very like ninety. Wait a minute, I love it. It's almost it's very working. 90s. Look at me. I'm like two seconds away from buzzing my head again, so something's got to work. Let me see. Like, 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 like. <laughs> look. <laughs> it actually looks really cool. It looks good. Oh, Lizzie's like, like, like holding la, her la, mean la, 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 la. Well, It looks do, good. Well, do you remember there's something about Mary when she got coming in her hair? 
Okay, I'm taking the first bite because I can't stand you guys right now. <laughs> Everyone plug your ears. Wait, you should open it in half so they can see the Dorito taco okay, here and see if go. it actually worked. Why is it green? Wait, is there black bean? Oh no, it's just real grilled, which here I'm a fan of. Okay. Did it work? Oh. I think it did. Let's see. Can here, you see it? Pass that to the back. <gasps> oh I my gosh, it is, it is, it is, it is. I promise. Thank you. Is it beautiful? It's beautiful. Oh. Mm. Wow, she's salivating. Can I eat it? Yeah. yeah. Three, get two. In there. Did you see this, the little on the end? Look at it. Mm. Wow. Show them that, show them that. Does it change mm. the whole flavor? Is it great? Mm -hmm. Does it really? Yeah. Oh. Mm. That goes hard as fuck. Where did you see this hack? I think I made it up. Mm. Wow. You're just dreaming about Taco Bell hacks. <laughs> Thank God same, he is. Same, same. <laughs> thank God, yeah, thank God. Oh, you don't want to know my dreams. <laughs> Dude, Wait. I had the weirdest fucking dream the other night. Or maybe it was last night. It was what? last night. I was at Haley Duff's birthday party, and like Ashley Tysdale was there. And we Tysdale? Were, whatever, I don't know the bitch. <laughs> and it's a pool party, which I'm particularly bad at. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I'm all sunburnt, and I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm sunburnt. And then this girl, Aria DeBeer from high school, is also having her birthday party at the same location, but I wasn't invited to Aria's birthday. I was invited to Haley Duff's. I stopped listening. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped listening to Tysdale. <laughs> I was my brain didn't wrap around that. It honestly, it was about nothing but my own shame. <laughs> okay. I'm... I'm just curious why you're dreaming about Haley and not Hillary. I know. <laughs> I think it was because it's supposed to be sad. <laughs> No, we love Haley. <laughs> you love Haley. You love Haley. I love Haley. <laughs> <laughs> what did you pull out? What? You like pulled out. Are the lighting was park? bad. Oh. Okay. We're halfway in the parking spot. You guys are always so worried about I feel about bad where that I didn't is. fully hear your dream. It's okay. It's literally about nothing. Okay. Mm, that lighting is good. Wait, why are your dreams so crazy? I want to know. Mine? Yes. They involve a lot of like me getting stabbed. What? But I heard, I think I already talked about this, but I I heard that everything you feel in a dream is something you felt in real life. So your subconscious can pull from that. So I think when I got, I always get stabbed in my stomach and I think it's because I had surgery on my stomach where they cut me open and I think I still feel that. You don't think it's all the people that turned on you? Oh. Just coming to kill you? I mean, they wouldn't in, stab me in the stomach, in No, back. in my back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Depends on how bad they hate you, I guess. Right. Anyways. Well, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I also don't have, like, sex dreams anymore. I think that's good. Do you think that's because you're getting enough sex? Yeah, I think I'm filled. Like that's I not a choice of word. <laughs> like, I used to have them more. Or maybe I'm just getting old. That's so sad. Are you ruining my sex drive? Oh, <gasps> God. Were they with men or women? Everything. Hmm. Mm. You're parked in the middle of the... Like, I, I, they can't see what's happening here, but it's, like, <laughs> illegal. It's he does this all the time. He He's parked in the middle of, of the parking lot. It's all about the lighting. It's, like, making me, like, I can't even focus because I'm anxious. Yeah. Me. <laughs> I guess I just don't, like, get anxious over that kind of thing. Must be nice. <laughs> Cut to his meltdown about the chandelier. <laughs> yeah, I only get anxious about hanging luxury items in my house. <laughs> I love you. Okay, well, does anybody else have any final questions for Shane or what? It, this is over? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I feel like he has learned nothing. I know. Don't you want to know the inner workings? Of what? <laughs> <laughs> Shane started vlogging again. What's that about? Oh, You're yeah. Walker Girls. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just, like, having fun and, like, testing the waters and... Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My life is kind of boring. I mean, I think a lot is happening. We're having kids. We're... Redoing the living room. We're moving to another state. Well, yeah, what, you're redoing the what? living room and then leaving? See? It's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing that? Also, who's, who's getting that couch? <laughs> What couch? The couch you're getting rid of. The leather cloud, you can have it. Anybody. Well, should I just end this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, let me think. Let's think of another topic. Summer's coming. <laughs> no, summer's coming. I, I hate summer. It's the worst time of year. I want to die. I hate it. That's so crazy to me. Yeah, because you're a skinny, tiny person who, like, loves 
being hot. Because it's not big boy season. That's why. No, it's too hot outside. I hate it. There's a woman doing a drug deal in, <laughs> behind this Taco Bell. Um, and I hate it. <laughs> and I don't, I don't, she's, I'm like scared. And I don't understand anybody that likes it. I like it. It's uh, lighter, longer. I'm also always freezing. All always <laughs> freezing. Yeah. Mm. How does that work with you being in relationship with big boys? Because aren't they hot? Yeah. Um, normally we like make the like if we're going to sleep, we like make it nice and cold, and then I just I just like cuddle and get their warmth. Yeah, you're such a dog. <laughs> hmm. I I suck out their warmth. Did everybody see Guardians of the Galaxy? <gasps> no, mm -hmm. I want to see it so bad. You didn't see it? Oh my god, you loser! I so bad. I've been working. You? Su I feel like you're not a. I'm sorry, I'm talking to Lizzie, but I can't look full of weird. <laughs> I feel like you're not a Guardians of the Galaxy type of person. Bro, I am. No. Yeah, you I remind me it. of the blue girl. Should I get out so you guys Thank can you. talk about spoilers? No, I mean, we can't talk about spoilers anymore because the audience hates spoilers, but I can just say right. I fucking cried <gasps> through that whole motherfucker. Yeah, I thought it was good. It was really fun. You are the blue girl. That's you, you should be her for Halloween <laughs> episode with the black eyes. Oh, and then you could be the raccoon. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can be the green girl. Oh my god, and I can be... Mm. I wanted to be Chris Pratt. Uh, no, Shane could be Chris Pratt. <laughs> you. Can I be Groot? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. We don't have enough friends to pull this off. <laughs> no, we we got, we've got more friends. Oh, you do. Okay. J Jared can be Drax. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, that's perfect. Jared. Morgan. <laughs> Jared's wife, my Ryland's mom, mom. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Rylan's brother. Uh -huh. We've got five dogs between us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're really our best friends. <laughs> oh my god, did you guys not feel like Riley was in that movie? Okay, here's the thing. I like. I thought it was cute, but I hated the voice. It was hard to hear. It was like what? Yeah, but it's because she's like a Russian cosmonaut pup. Oh, I didn't mean I hate it because it's Russian. Oh no. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just, I just didn't like the radio. Like the radio like, was annoying. Talking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my. That would be my only criticism of the film. We're gonna go back and see it in 3D. Was that the same dog in the Christmas special? Probably. I didn't see the Christmas special. I couldn't oh, through it. Right. TBH. Hmm. It was like if Hallmark did Guardians. Ooh. Visually speaking. I was like, nah. So wait, as the um so though as the woke one in the car, why do you do you hate Chris Pratt? I don't identify as woke. I but can't. I feel like I haven't I've brought up Chris Pratt before and I feel like you're the one that's like His friends are very people. adamant against him. Uh, yeah, mo most people I know don't like Chris Pratt. Why? Because of things. Because he goes online. to a Christian church. I just read a Bible verse. Well, so, no, no, no. It's not. I mean, suppose the the rumors are that he's homophobic. The rumors are. But that those he's are a, founded. They say he abandoned rumors. his kid, Completely and it's rumors. like everybody relax. But what about the rumors about me? What do you mean? I feel like they're worse. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I. I mean, we all get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> that I is just, true. I just don't understand because he's Christian. Pe people think he hates. No, gay there's people. a history of his yeah. church pastor or something or other saying something that was not super pro gay. Or whatever. I'll go to bat for him at all hours of the day. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to fight about Chris Pratt with me, let's do it. Mm -hmm. um, all right, you guys. Well, I guess that's it for today's episode of The Sip. I'm sorry it was. Less than stellar. <laughs> you know, we're trying new things. It's not because of you. You came and you gave your A game. I didn't prepare enough. I think I would have had more fun if we weren't in a car. I can't see them. Well, that I'm, doesn't work I'm, for my format. I'm so car sick. It doesn't work maybe for my format. Your, maybe it's about your format. <laughs> It is a lot to put a stranger in the backseat of your car and be like, I'm not going to look at you. I voted for doing this on the patio. Uh, and I have a table now. That would have been nice. Sit out there. Oh, that would have been cute. And I wanted to Postmate something and the Postmate could come in and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was my format. But I like this too. You did well, good. Wait, wait. What do you have? What's your biggest fear about becoming a dad? Ooh. Okay. Weird, but I don't, at the moment, I don't have any. <gasps> oh. Isn't that scary? Because yeah. you're so ready. Maybe. Like, why? You're not freaking out a little bit? No. Wow. Isn't that scary? You're both going to be good dads. That's I'm very so sure sad. of that. Thank you. I'm very sure of that. Um, yeah. I am I really don't have any concerns. I mean, I want them to have a woman in their life somewhere in some capacity. I guess Lizzie. <laughs> right but, you know, so I do want that. And Morgan. 
And more. But, uh, but I'm talking more like, if we, I don't know. But then also, I don't want a, another woman raising our kid. You know what I mean? Like, trying to get... Well, they're not going to be raising Because everybody kid, I know but... has, like, nannies, which I'm not against nannies, but I'm also like, but then what if the nanny's, like, saying weird shit to the kid when we're not around? That's kind of scary. <laughs> Dude, I saw the most fucked up thing that this family... And this happened... I've heard about it happening before, but a woman on TikTok recently was like, someone's been talking to my son via his baby monitor and mm. saying that they're his mommy and daddy. No, what? And living. scaring the fuck out of him to the point where he sleeps in their room every night. And when they plugged in his camera the other night, he's like, please don't plug it in. It scares me when it talks to me. Who's the woman? It, I mean, this happens to a lot of people who have Wi-Fi connected baby monitors. They hack who the would baby do that? monitor. Yeah. So scary. Who would do that? That's there are so... sick fucks who do that. That is wrong. And they talk to the babies. They're dying with the worst karma ever. The yeah. worst. Well, note to self, don't get a fucking Wi-Fi baby monitor. Yeah. Wow. Because when she signed in to change the password on the monitor, it literally said, like, there's been a security breach and your information has been leaked. <gasps> Ew. Yeah. So no Wi-Fi baby monitors. Mm. Add that to your list, right? Wait, Lizzie, when are you going to get pregnant? Uh, we're talking about trying in August. Why so oh. far away? Um, it's just the choice that we made. Why? I wanted to get a few things in order first. Like what? that meeting that I've bullied that woman into taking with me, for okay. example. Okay. And, yeah. It'll be good to stagger as well for us. Oh, it's def it's a strength in staggered numbers, for sure. <laughs> also, all my fucking asshole friends who already had kids are like, we're going to try the same time as you. Don't! <laughs> for their second? Don't you fucking dare drive for a second while I'm having my first. If all of you whores miss my baby shower, I will fucking do something nasty to you. Oh my god, are we having a baby shower? Yes, I keep begging him to let me throw a baby shower. Yeah, she's been asking Ew. forever. I don't think I want one. I <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have a wedding. A baby shower? I think to throw your wedding, too. That's yes. so depressing. We're not pregnant. No, let me do a baby shower. You mean, yeah. Well... Like, we are not pregnant. I know, but we're still... The surrogate has to come, um, right? Or is that weird? weird? Yeah, oh... Yeah. I mean, she can come if she wants to, but I think it's more about <laughs> celebrating the parent-to-be. Oh, We're gonna have to put some thought into this. Am I allowed to touch her stomach? No. I mean, with permission. <laughs> she would. I, like, I don't know how that works. Aren't you supposed to sing to the babies? Baby? You could. You could. Like, hello. Hey, it's daddy. <laughs> I used to. But that's weird to do with the surrogate. I was, hey, it's daddy. I was watching somebody else that's pregnant with a surrogate, and she said she sends uh, voice videos of her talking to the baby for the surrogate to play for the baby. Oh. Aww. I fucking love that. Can I send some voice memos to your surrogate? <laughs> <laughs> hey babies, it's mommy. <laughs> I just want you to know. I'm so happy you're coming. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching today's episode of the podcast. I promise next week we'll be a little more prepared. What? We have to do the show intro. We never introduced the show. I'm going to do that after. Oh, my be, my be. Thank you guys so much for supporting our show. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Goodbye. And, and that's the sip. It. Everyone in the car has to do it or I feel like an asshole. Oh. Oh. And, and that's, that's the sip. It. <laughs> that might be the gayest thing we've ever done. Wasn't it nice though? <laughs> Didn't it feel better when everyone was doing it and it wasn't just me and you? Are you going to get like guests to do it? Oh, That's fun. No, I don't know if we need to make <laughs> that do the outro. The judgment in the, you're going to get like guests to do it? <laughs> well, I'm just about you fucking losers. <laughs> I just imagine it, like Spencer Pratt. Like what? You're gonna bring Spencer Pratt on this failed format and then make him do that fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna puke. Instagram keeps pushing my high school boyfriend's wife on me as a follow suggestion. And it's like, they don't even know she just unblocked me. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Sometimes I will request my high school boyfriend and he rejects it every time. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it for like a rush because I, I need some toxicity in my life. <laughs> I know he's going to reject it every time. I could do it right now just to feel something. <laughs>